chef de party job role explained, My experience as a CDP. Chef de party is a confusing title for many. A kitchen hierarchy opens in a new tab. Is based on a traditional French structure. Hence why many countries borrow the French titles for the different chef positions. This interesting name for a chef is a common term that comes up again and again. But many find themselves asking what does chef de party mean? And what does chef de parties do? I worked as a chef de party for several years and it is perhaps one of the most demanding roles in the kitchen. Even if it does not carry the kudos that other higher ranked titles come with. A chef de party is the head of a section within a kitchen. A professional kitchen is divided into sections such as meat, fish, veg etc. And it is the role of the chef de party to ensure their section runs smoothly. They also have several other important responsibilities. So that's the basic answer. But as always there is a little more to it than that. There are important little nuances that anyone looking to begin a chef career opens in a new tab. Should be aware of. With that in mind we'll take an in-depth look at the role of the chef de party and what their responsibilities are within a kitchen. What does a chef de party do? As mentioned above a chef de party must take control of a section of the kitchen. So that it can work alongside all the other sections to produce flawless dishes every time. Comma. A chef de party will control their section of the kitchen. They will often have more inexperienced chefs. Known as commerce chefs. Working below them. As a team they will produce the elements of the dish. That their section is responsible for. Kitchens operate by having a number of sections opens in a new tab. Working together. For example. It is far more efficient to have one team producing the veg for all the dishes than have each team. Producing multiple elements. My experience as a commerce chef. Opens in a new tab. As a basic illustration. So we understand why sections are so important in a kitchen at scale. We shall look at a very simple example below. If our restaurant has just two items on the menu, probably wouldn't be very popular but we can run. With it, fillet steak with green beans and new potatoes. Sirloin steak with mushrooms and chips. Now. In theory we could ask one section to produce all of dish number one. And another section to produce all of dish number two. This would be an even way to split the workload in principle. However. The problem is. This would be chaos. The chefs would be tripping over each other to get to the grill. They would be getting in each other's way in the veg store. And there is also the food hygiene cross-contaminating issues to consider. A far more efficient opens in a new tab. Way is to ask one section to cook the meat for both dishes. And one section to cook the potatoes and veg for both dishes. A very simple example but hopefully illustrates the point. Especially when we consider the menu will have multiple dishes. Having clearly defined sections is the only way to do it efficiently. The number of chefs on a section varies depending on the size of the restaurant opens in a new tab. And the number of people in a brigade. For example. If we look at a medium sized hotel opens in a new tab. It would not be uncommon to see three chefs per section. In our example. If there were three chefs on a section. One of those would be a chef de party and the other two would be commerce chefs opens in a new tab. The chef de party will be guided by the sous chef opens in a new tab. And head chef working above them. In the same way a manager in other career areas will guide their staff. Chef de parties will then take this information and relay it to the commerce chefs working below. Them. The responsibilities of a chef de party. 
The role of a chef de partie is very hands-on, as they are ultimately responsible for all the elements being produced on their section. They will prep the dishes during the day and be on the stove cooking during service times. It is their job to speak to the sous chef and the head chef opens in a new tab. To make sure they understand the elements of the dishes they are responsible for. Whilst a chef de party has input in menu creation, they are expected to carry out the vision of the head chef. Morning meetings among the chef de parties. Sous chef opens in a new tab and head chef will focus around which sections are going to be responsible for which elements that day. Some may be obvious. The fish fillets are clearly going to come from fish section. However, oftentimes there is some ambiguity. For example, the sautéed beans may come from that fish section as well that day rather than the veg section. This approach prevents one section becoming overwhelmed opens in a new tab. During service, when a menu is written, it is done so with the idea of sharing the workload out among the sections, but in reality this can be tricky. A situation where one section is so busy it is unable to cope. While another section stands by twiddling their thumbs is no use to anyone. Once the chef de party knows exactly what their section is responsible for and how the elements of each dish should be created, they will set about putting their team to work. They will relay the information to the commerce chefs opens in a new tab on their section and assign tasks to each one based on their experience levels. It is a chef de party's role to train the inexperienced commerce chefs below them, as well as to ensure the overall section is ready for service on time. This role carries a high amount of responsibility and is often the first step up that ladder from. Beginner chef opens in a new tab. As such there are several important qualities which are needed before taking on the role. What qualities does a chef de party need to have? We can see that the role of a chef de party is very demanding. For chefs looking to make the step up from commerce chef to this level they will need to demonstrate several important characteristics. A chef de party should be well organized, comfortable with issuing instructions, and a very reliable cook during service periods as well as many other important points we shall look at. Important chef de party qualities are organized. There's a lot going on in a kitchen on a normal day. And it's even worse on a busy day. Chef de parties must be able to prioritize the workload and hopefully be staying one step ahead on the prep work. Leadership skills. An ability to lead a small section of chefs is vital. Chef de parties must be able to get respect opens in a new tab from the commerce chefs below them. A great chef, perhaps the most important skill for a chef de party is an ability to cook well on the stove during service time. They must be able to stay calm and produce high quality dishes. Any chef who cannot perform this task will struggle to ever progress. Ambitious. Leading a kitchen section is often challenging and not a job for the faint-hearted. A healthy dose of ambition opens in a new tab. Is vital to keep the chef de party on course and enthusiastic for the rigors of the role. Confidence. Taking responsibility for a section can sometimes require us to take the blame for things that are out of our control. It's important we can take this on the chin without letting it damage our confidence levels opens in a new tab. Although these are the main traits, there is no one size fits all type of person that steps up to become a chef de party. Section leaders can range from loud and brash personalities to quiet and unassuming. A great advantage of kitchen life is that respect is earned opens in a new tab. 
through hard work and talent. If a chef has great cooking talent, but is naturally quieter, this is not a problem. They will be followed by the other chefs as they have gained their respect by the cuisine they can produce. We often see under confident newcomers opens in a new tab. Gain in stature as they progress in their career. Often those who start of shy and unassuming soon find their feet and are issuing out orders without any problems. How long does it take to become a chef de party? Time scales vary greatly depending on the type of cuisine being cooked. Generally, the higher the standard of cuisine, the longer a chef will stay at commerce level. There is just so much more to learn that it takes longer. However, as a general guide, to become a chef de party takes on average around two years. This is the amount of time required for a commerce chef to gain the necessary experience and culinary qualifications. However, the standard of cuisine being produced has a large effect on this time scale. Working in a reasonable kitchen that cooks food from scratch, a commerce chef opens in a new tab, can work their way around all the sections, gaining the required experience, to then be considered for the promotion to chef de party. A chef de party will always be qualified opens in a new tab. Or if they have chosen not to complete a qualification, they will need to be able to demonstrate considerable cooking experience. This two-year timescale is a guide, as it is up to the head chef of a kitchen to decide when a commerce is ready to run their own section. Job opportunity opens in a new tab. Also plays a large part. If a commerce chef is ready to step up, but there are no chef de party vacancies in their kitchen, then unfortunately they will have to bide their time. Often, due to the transient nature of catering. In these circumstances we see the eager commerce chef start to look for other kitchens where they can progress their career quicker. We must also remember that a chef de party in one kitchen is very different from another. A chef de party in a pub restaurant will not be able to become a chef de party in a Michelin star restaurant overnight. They will need to step back down to commerce level in the higher standard restaurant before progressing again. Michelin star restaurant prices opens in a new tab. Many chefs also choose to stay at commerce level for a long time in order to gain as much experience as possible. Chefs that like to travel may choose to spend years moving between high-end kitchens staying at a lower level. This has a catapult effect on their careers when they do decided to move up the ranks. Commerce chef can be a difficult role for some and they are eager to progress as quickly as possible. As well as the extra respect and status chef de party level gives someone. The associated pay rise opens in a new tab. Is also very welcome.